So if any of you guys missed the uh, Hillbilly Thrill Rides on Destination America, I uh, edited a little video here and uh, this is what happened on TV, so uh, hope you enjoy it. The summer's not over yet. We've saved one of our favorite do-it-yourself daredevils for laughs. Meet Dalton. If I was to describe Dalton in one word, crazy as hell. Dalton is always coming up with these crazy ideas. <laughs> He's an industrious 18-year-old from Gowanda, New York. I built a scooter with a weed whacker engine on it, and that's what started it all. And then from there, got, you know, chainsaw engines, then just about anything with an engine, and started slapping it on machines to ride. Leave it to Dalton to create a chopper with a chainsaw engine and a juice bottle gas tank. Or a sled he calls the Flatland Slider. Made from a car seat, a hood, and not much else. My gang and I like to have a good time and aren't afraid to do about anything. Where else can you go to get totally crazy and where no rules apply? Grandma's. It's just wonderful for hunting and for recreation. I sit on the porch a lot and watch the wheelies go across my back lawn. After we get done building a crazy redneck ride, we can test ride them up here and we don't gotta worry about neighbors uh, complaining because it's just wide open woods. I have never really ridden on one of Dalton's rides because I really don't think they were made for me. Well, get ready to run out of excuses, Grandma, because Dalton's working on a brand new project that's just for you. I want to show my grandmother some appreciation for letting us, you know, ride up on her land. I'm going to build Grandma the ultimate redneck rocking chair. He could have bought Grandma one of them baskets of fancy soaps, but that just wouldn't be Dalton's style. Well, this redneck rocker is going to be safe for Grandma. Uh, the last one wasn't really that safe. Dalton's first redneck rocker was on the back of a jumper. If the welds didn't hold up, riders could fall directly onto the drive shaft. The first redneck rocker we built was way more dangerous. The frame of Granny's new and improved rocker is made entirely of two-by-fours and stands eight feet tall. The 75-pound frame is then secured to the back of the truck by sawing through the floor and bolting each leg to the inside of the bed. The bucket seat is then bolted to a swing that is attached with hinges to the frame. Total cost for Redneck Rocker 2.0? $500. And that includes the truck. But there's only one way to know if it's safe for Granny. Test drive. Look at it. It's the very epitome of safety. Why, this thing is safer than a safe store full of safes. Granny's gonna flip her wig safely. Don is making a redneck cracker for his 60 year old grandmother. I think it's gonna be a little bouncy, a little swingy. <laughs> Grandma. 